Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching the engineer why. As you can see on the screen, we have the structural drawing and it is related to footing. As you can see, F3 means footing number three. As a beginner, it can be a little bit tricky to know what all these labels and these dimensions mean, okay? So it is really important to know them. So in this video, we will be understanding the structural drawing. And another thing, as you can see, we have some things which are known. However, some things, they are not labeled yet. As you can see, we have four feet and then C. What does C mean? Okay, it has never been just labeled over here. Now, the long dimensions and the short dimensions, these are not known in the same drawing. Okay, so that's why we have to just jump into the schedule of footing. Okay, make sure you have schedule of footing and it must be provided okay to the site supervisor maybe okay or you can say site engineer let me just rotate this uh, okay into the left side okay this is a schedule as you can see we have different uh you can say number of footings okay now as you can see f3 this is the same footing we have okay on the uh you can say in the other drawings okay f3 it is the same thing okay let me jump again and let me just uh have some you can say drawing as you can see we have f3 that means footing number three Let, let's just focus on the first column that is long dimension okay this represents the size you can say as you can see we have eight feet and then six feet okay is the length and width of the footing you can say and then we have the thickness which is 15 feet okay now let me just represent these things who are there as you can see the long dimension that is actually eight feet okay so it's so simple now the short dimension as you can see, this is just six feet. Another thing, which is the thickness, and that was just 15 feet, uh, I mean inches, okay? Let me just jump again so we can confirm that. As you can see, this is just 15 inches, okay? Now, 15 inches, that means this C, okay, alphabet C. So this is actually the thickness from this point till that, okay? And that is actually just 15 inches. Now, another thing, as you can see in the same section, we have concrete which is actually 148 and this is you can say three inches thick okay it's also just known over there and we also have some projection which is actually also you can say three inches now above this we have 15 inches thick footing and there we have actually short bars and those are actually annotated or you can say labeled with these small uh, you can say dots okay these these black dots represent the short bars you can say okay you can see them now the long bars actually this line which is the same thing you can you can just see that okay this is actually the long bars now what are actually their properties okay again we have to jump into the schedule you can say as you can see we have a reinforcement and those are bottom bars we don't have top bars you can say this is a single layer okay so we have long bars and those are number four and six inches center to center however short bars those are also the same thing you can say number four at or at six inches center to center now what does this mean okay what do you mean by number four and at or at uh, six inches center to center this is going to be very easy okay let me just uh, open uh, another thing which is actually a powerpoint so i can make you understand uh, who are there okay with a good presentation you can say okay let me just delete these things and let's say we have uh you can say a shape you can say this is the, the footing okay and uh, let me just have this style so let's say we have this footing what do you mean by the long bars the long bars actually means the bars in in this direction okay you can say you can say these are long bars there must be bar at the end okay remember that and short bars let me just change the color so we can understand it short bars these are actually the short bars okay i'm just doing that quickly so we can have time let me just have uh, some something which are actually the, the these short bars these are actually number four and these are at the red six inches uh, you can say center to center now what do you mean by six inches center to center and what do you mean by number four remember number four means four by eight inches okay and this is actually fps system that's why we're gonna have those things in inches okay so four by eight inches 
it's quite same thing you can also just uh, cancel these things and you can represent them with one or two inches or you can say half inch that is just the diameter of the bar okay and and let's say we have a a, a steel bar okay a, if i'm not wrong and if i can do it better okay let's say we have this steel bar okay this is the steel bar and now let me just have uh let me just annotate some other things like you can say this is let's say the the length of the bar and let's say this is the diameter okay in the same drawing number four that is actually the diameter of the bar that is actually the diameter of the bar number four means four by eight inches the dia of the bar okay so we're gonna provide bars okay in the same uh you can say footing and these are actually the short bars the short bars are also um number four and six inches center to center now what do you mean by six inches center to center number four means four by eight inches the diameter of the bar and six by six inches center to center means that the distance between two bars must be six inches let's just say we have these two bars now the distance between these two bars must be six inches okay this, this distance must be six inches okay six inches center center means the distance between two bars must be six inches okay jumping again to the same drawing okay let me just undo these things so we can have room for uh you can say labeling or you can say writing uh stops okay all right again as you can see we have these bars short bars these are number four at six inches center to center and the long bar are the same okay in uh, as you can say in the the properties now as you can see we have four feet that is actually the height of the nsl nsl means natural surface level okay you can just say natural surface level and this is actually the same thing you can say the natural ground okay so nsl that is the natural ground and remember we always uh, excavate or we always dug uh, okay below this a surface or you can say below the natural surface level so we have to do excavation okay up to four feet okay below the ground so that's so simple now about this as you can see we have this this is actually uh the column and that is represented as you can see this rectangular thing okay the dimensions are not known over here okay because the schedule is only for the footing there must be a schedule for the columns as well so you have to look for the column size okay and uh, you, you have to compare that with the the footing which is f3 okay so that's not our work over here uh, in other video maybe how uh, we will explain the the drawing related to uh, columns okay in this video let's focus on the same thing now you can see in the same drawing let me just undo these lines the, the these red, red things okay as you can see in the same drawing we have plant beam that is shown okay this is plant beam which is 9 by uh, 24 feet okay this is rectangular which is actually the same thing as you can see the the width that is actually 9 inches and the height is uh, 24 that's so simple and this is the actually uh, the floor uh, formation level you can say okay so this is the top level of the floor now the, the the only thing which is remaining in the same footing is actually the concrete cover okay as you can see this is the bar okay the long bars the long bars are just placed about two inches from this pcc work which is 148 okay so after uh, 148 there must be a concrete cover you can say and this is uh, two inches and you can also call them clear cover because uh, sometime we consider effective cover which is just uh, uh, from the surface till the you can say the center of the bar's diameter however normally clear cover is considered in concrete uh, structures and this is two inches it means as you can see let me just just jump over here again and let me just delete these things as you can see we have the the concrete okay which is one uh, for eight this is one for eight and then we have footing you can say the same thing like this and there we have the column okay now as you can see uh, after just paving this concrete which is 148 we have to provide some some concrete cover okay maybe some some stone chips okay uh, like over here we can we can place some chairs you can say okay these are known by chairs just to maintain that cover okay this chair height must be two inches okay based on those drawings now when you place these chairs 
then you can just directly place a uh, short or maybe long bars okay about these things okay so these are the bars and then you can place other bars in the other direction okay so this is the the process of maintaining the clear uh, you can say cover now what do you mean by clear cover it is actually the height of this chair okay or you can say the, the clear distance between uh, this member or you can say 148 and the, the the bar actually okay so this is how you can read a structural drawing of a footing hey if you like these types of videos make sure you subscribe press the bell icon so you never miss an update from the engineer boy